a legal win for Mayor Cantrell's team for now. A civil court judge ruling late this afternoon to delay the city council's push for public records tied to a now abandoned digital infrastructure program. And the decision is fueling strong feelings from both sides. WDSU's Harrison Golden is live at the civil district court downtown. Harrison, a lot of levels to the story. So tell us what's this all about? Well, so this all stems from the city's ill-fated Smart Cities initiative. That push to bridge technology divides was plagued by allegations of conflicts of interest. And today's hearing in the courtroom behind me, well, it has accentuated divides of other kinds within city government. I will tell you from an administration that repeatedly says it has nothing to hide, they are simply acting very differently than what they're saying. City council members are not happy. They wanted Judge Nicole Shepard to uphold their subpoenas of three members of the Cantrell administration. They wanted to hold the administration contempt for blowing their Tuesday deadline on surrendering files that could show potential mishandling of broadband contracts. But the judge's ruling issued Thursday means they'll have to wait. And at the end of the day, these are public records. Let's remember that. These are public records that we cannot get access to. The judge sided with the mayor's team. Its attorneys claim they're already cooperating with a separate investigation from the city's inspector general's office, and they don't see why the council should be running its own probe. But Council Vice President J.P. Morrell says his body has every right to investigate, too. We're talking about public officials with public money, and it is the council's job and our regulatory authority to investigate when we believe public monies are being misappropriated or misspent. Though he is glad about one thing. The judge's restraining order only lasts until the middle of next week. That's when another judge will consider the case, and that's why council members say their investigation's not over yet. Should we get a favorable ruling on Wednesday once all of the evidence is presented, we can move forward on Thursday in our council meeting and just put those items forward on suspension. And here is a statement the city's top spokesperson sent us today regarding today's court hearing. Communications Director Gregory Joseph saying, quote, the dedicated public service servants in the office of the mayor only had one goal in pursuing the Smart Cities project, which was to provide relief to our disadvantaged communities by closing the digital divide that has plagued our most vulnerable. In short, Smart Cities was just necessary and most importantly, completely above board and legal. Again, that legal clash not over quite yet. Another judge will be considering all of this next Wednesday and the council again hoping that they will continue their investigation right after that. Up now we are reporting live downtown. Harrison Golden, WDSU News. All right, Harrison, thank you so much.